the title of my talk today is, I'm calling it Engineering Content at a Growth Startup. So my, my name is John Doherty. I'm the founder of GetCredo.com, which I call Credo. It's a marketplace um, that I started myself as a solo founder, still a solo founder, still bootstrapped. But my background is in B2C acquisition, so SEO, email, content, et cetera, for B2C startups. I'm currently running a B2B startup, um, so I'm learning to apply these principles to my own company. Um, but so this is mostly focused on B2C startups. So as a growth startup, what you're trying to do is you're trying to hit escape velocity, right? You're not trying to just continue on like I am. You know, you're bootstrapping, you're growing 10, 15% month on month. It's a great lifestyle business, lets you do what you want to do. You're trying to go big, right? You're trying to return Jason's money 10x, 20x, 30x, 40x, whatever you get as an angel. More than that, 100x, 150x, um, you know, 10x for your, uh, your Series A. Um, so you're trying to hit escape velocity. Uh, blogging is not going to get you there. Traditional blogging is not going to get you there. So I don't believe that most, uh, some, most companies, most especially like seed stage companies, startups, should not have a blog. Or if they do have a blog, um, it needs to be for a very specific purpose. So uh, basically my advice is don't have a blog that you're planning on getting you a lot of customers unless you really love to write. Right? People often say, oh, you should do content marketing as a startup, and here are all the things you should do. You, know, you should do this keyword research for SEO. You should do all of these different things. Um, and they often reference people like Seth Godin or Rand Fishkin or people like that. Right? Um, those guys are writers. They have to write. I was talking to Rand one time. I was basically like, you have to write to get thoughts out of your head in order to be a sane person, right? He's like, yeah, exactly. I'm the same way. I love to write. I've been blogging for 15 years. Seth Godin has written... I don't know, 16, 18, 20 books, probably up from there. Um, he's a writer. He loves to write. He blogs every single day. If you're not a writer, you don't love to write, and you're not good at writing, you're not going to be able to, to blog every single day and scale like he has. Plus, blogging can take a really long time to earn you a good-sized audience. If you're trying to hit that escape velocity like I'm talking about, you're not going to be able to do that with just a blog. So uh, many of you are... There are many technical founders in, in startups, of course. Um, you have to be able to create a product. Um, hopefully, you have a co-founder that can sell or something like that. Um, but you're an engineer, so play to your strengths. Uh, so I believe that you can engineer your way uh, to scalable content success as long as you find the right story. So we are talking a little bit about storytelling. We're also going to talk about how you can scalably create this content. Um, as I said, uh, you're a founder. You're not a marketer. Uh, Likely, uh, there are some of us that are marketers and founders. Um, you likely don't have a pre-built audience for your startup. You're trying to get something new um, off the ground. Um, so you don't have that audience, but you do know how to code. Um, you might know how to do sales. You know, you're not a writer, and that's, that's totally OK. Um, so it's time, I would say, for technical founders to become, especially without a non-technical co-founder, to become uh, what a friend of mine, Michael King, um, has called a marketing technologist. So learning how to tie these different systems together so when you create content, um, and I'm going to talk about what I mean by that, uh, then you have systems in place that can push them out scalably to amplify, amplify your message. So let's talk about a technologist um, as a marketer. Increasingly, startup marketing is about tying together your different systems to make them work together. You have all these disparate systems. You have a CRM. You have an email provider. Uh, you have your social media accounts. You have your, you know, your blog or your website. Let's just call it your website. Um, and you're trying to make these work together in order to amplify so you're not publishing a big you know, uh, piece of content that we talked about. You know, you're, you're publishing your 52 weeks, and then every week you have to go, and you have to write fresh tweets, and you have to write a fresh blog post, and you have to write a fresh so, you know, social media updates, and you have to go and create a custom audience on Facebook to promote it to, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It takes a lot of work. If you're a startup founder, you don't have a ton of time, um, especially as a solo founder if you're very early days. Um, you don't have a ton of time. You have a lot of other stuff to do. So it is possible to tie these together, um, I believe. I've done it. Um, so what, where you need to start is, I'm going to go back to keyword research. My background is in SEO. What are people talking about? What stories can you tell? So every industry, I believe, has interesting stories to tell. Um, you know, if it's lead IQ, you have stories to tell about the companies that really uh, you know, can benefit from this, telling who is your ideal customer, telling their, uh, telling their stories, doing case studies, that sort of thing. Um, but starting with the keyword research to ask, what are people actually caring about in my industry? Hey everybody, let me take a moment to tell you about a product I am addicted to and I love and that I use every week. It is Dollar Shave Club. Of course you've heard of Dollar Shave Club before, but I want to tell you why I love it and give a personal endorsement because it has been life-changing for me. I no longer go buy razors. I no longer go buy creams to shave. I get it all delivered to me and I get it all for like a third of the price. So basically I don't have to think 
I don't have to worry about running out of blades. I don't have to worry about dull blades. I consistently get my Dollar Shave Club. Now I get the executive blade. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but I get it for a third of the price. And three million members like me love Dollar Shave Club. They make amazing razors, as you know. And you don't have to deal with going to the drugstore or just these like locked up razor fortresses where like everything is proprietary and it's expensive. You just go to dollarshaveclub.com and you pick a razor from their lineup of amazing blades. I get the first class shave when I use the executive blade. I'm an executive, obviously. I think it's got five blades or something. It's amazing. It's so smooth. In fact, I had to adjust a little bit because my old razors, I was kind of like putting a little force behind them. And I didn't think they weren't as sharp, uh, but with the Dollar Shave Club executive blade, it's so sharp that I had to actually, I had to dial it back a little bit. And then the really interesting thing was I was always like a gel kind of guy, but I started using the shave butter, Dr. Carver shave butter. This stuff is so rich and creamy and thick that it really protects your skin. So I use the executive blade. I use this Dr. Carver shave butter. Now, with the shave butter, it is a little bit thicker and it protects your skin, which means you have to wash it out a little bit more. So I, I do about double the washing it out under the sink. You really got to give it a good wash, clear off the blade, and then do your next swipe. But it, it is worth it because it's so smooth. And, you know, you just feel like a million bucks without paying for it. It's the best shave I ever got. And I would tell you if it wasn't. I'll never read. That's my promise to you all in the audience. I will never read uh, any partner message unless I really use the product myself. I sincerely use it. I've got it stacked up now because I ordered a couple extra. I love it. And I've turned a couple of people on to it. Um, so they're so confident over there at the Dollar Shave Club uh, of all their products that they are going to give you the first month free to join the club. You just pay for the shipping. That's a good deal. After that, it's just a couple of bucks a month. There's no long-term commitment. You can cancel at any time. There's no hidden fees. They're just not into any nonsense over there. It's just like a great shave at a third of the price. It's better than anything else you're getting, and you never have to worry about it. Go to dollarshaveclub.com slash twist dollarshaveclub.com slash twist i sincerely love this product it's exceptional go get it you'll love it let me know what you think of it uh, okay that's it let's get back to this amazing program 